to another yoga lattice session. <laughs> um, if you want to join me in the seated cross leg position, we are going to start uh, there with a little bit of our pranayama practice. So roughly translating to a breathing technique. Now the one we are going to use today it's called a Nadi Shodan breath. Um, it will involve a mudra where we close off the nostrils um, and use our inhales and exhales through that part of our body. So if you hold out your right hand in front of you, I'm going to do a little demo and then I'll get stuck in and do about 10 breaths with you. So bending our first finger and our second finger in towards the centre of our palm, we are going to leave the thumb and the ring finger and the baby finger exposed. And as we do this, we want to try to make our exhale longer than our inhale. So at a ratio of about two is to one. Um, the nadis in the body are uh, assisting the energy flow inside of us. And the translation of Shodana is purification. So it's assisting in creating a more energetic flow inside of us. So let's purify ourselves with the exhale and then rejuvenate ourselves with our inhales. So taking our thumb here on our right hand, just seal the nostril on your right hand side and this is where my funny voice comes in there but we are going to inhale through the left and exhale through the left again so let's do it sealing your left with your ring finger or baby finger if you prefer inhale through your right nostril and then exhale to the count of two. So let's begin with this Nadi Shodhana breath and try to, it's one of the techniques, there is others also. And just, we can close our eyes and really try to come into this part of our body and link it to our lung, our diaphragm area and just really let the breath travel through all the energy um, centers throughout the body. So beginning again right, or you can keep going if you have kept going and we're going to inhale left and then exhale on the left. Sealing the left, inhale right, and exhale slowly out the right. Seal again, inhale left, and exhale left. Sealing left, inhale your right nostril and exhale right, really deepening the breath as you exhale. Seal again, inhale left. And soften the shoulders as you breathe out, create space from your ears to your tops of your shoulders, change sides. Continuing two more breaths. Mm -hmm. 
and release the mudra, placing your hand back to your knees. And we can slowly flicker open the eyes, maybe looking at the ground in front of you for a moment. And just take a nice deep restorative breath into the body. And exhale, fully releasing that breath outwards. And just joining our hands in the center of our chest, in front of our beautiful heart. We are just going to begin by inhaling and pressing our fingertips, both arms up, overhead, breathe in. And as you exhale, let the hands separate and turn the backs of the hands towards each other. And then again, join the palms and again, open back of the hands away from one another and join again, two more, rotating at the shoulders, hands back to touch, one more. And on the next one here, just lower your palms down by the side body here and just reach the fingertips down. So let's unwind the feet in front of us. I'm sure your hips maybe are feeling a little bit tight and we're just going to loosen out that part of the body as our first exercise. So take a seat and feet, face your feet towards the end of your mat here and we're just going to slide the heel in and out a couple of times, five, four, three, two, one, and change the side. So just slide in, slide out, slide in and out. Great. And now just let both soles of the feet rest on the mat in front of you and just take a nice two fist distance of space between your knees here. And we're just going to start rolling ourselves back. So I'm just going to slip a little bit more forwards here, roll back, and relax the head onto the mat, tuck your shoulders underneath. Let's raise the hips up, push into your feet and just find a little stretch now. Travel from your hips here towards your kneecaps. Kneecaps are trying to push down towards your toes almost, really opening up the muscle here in our quadriceps. And again, just going to move a little bit with this exercise. So down and up. And breathe whatever way is comfortable for you. Pushing into your feet, your big toes in particular. And just lift, stretch up. If it feels better for you, maybe you just hold there and just focus on that stretch. And on the last one here, take it up to that nice little bit of height. And we're just going to release the pressure in our hips here. I'm just going to move side to side a couple of times. So five, four, three, two, and one. Hips back to the mat. Open up your left knee. So take it out towards the edge of your mat there, long side. And we're going to just reach the toe now towards the end. So reach out, toe points, and then turn the big toe inwards and pull the heel along your mat again towards you. Left knee opens out and stretch it out, turning, just kind of juicing up the joint here in your hips, okay? So knee is opening out, we're finding a little stretch on that inner thigh. And then we're rotating that bone, the toe as well, inwards, whole leg, just starting to feel a little bit more fluidity come into this part of the body. So a couple more of these, starting to increase our repetition range up around 12 to 15 reps there. So just mobilize our hips. So settle out that leg now, sole of the foot on the ground, right knee is moving, opening outwards towards that long end of your mat. And then keep the foot in connection with the floor as you slide your toe, big toe towards the short edge, turn the foot, toe inwards, and then just drag that leg back in again and again. Just create a little bit of flow to this movement. And just opening out, stretching that inner thigh. 
really feeling kind of the heat start to um, be created here in your pelvic area, also in that right hip. So a couple more, stretch out. You could also reverse the direction if you felt to do so as well, just kind of pressing from the center line and then pulling it outwards. So if you felt a little bit of a change or again, you could hold this a little bit if you feel you need a stretch more in one way or another. So let's go with about three more anyway for today, just a hip opener exercise kind of beginner exercise in Pilates for getting this part of the body warmed up. Okay, so foot nice and stable on the mat. We're going to do a little pelvic clock. Very easy, tilt the pelvis to 12 and then back to 6 and again 12. So little kind of pendulum sway of this big heavy structure here in the center of the body and just kind of feeling like you're getting a little bit more movement here in around that lumbar area of your back. All right, settle it up in the center and we're gonna go just three and then over to the nine, three and nine and start waking up our muscles here on our side waist obliques, abdominals as well in the center. And very good, a couple more. Back to 12 and six, a few more of those. Just feeling like a little bit of a stretch as well, coming into those hips as you do this movement. And you can also start to uh, go a little bit deeper here with your attention. Um, so really trying to kind of draw the muscles upwards, deep internally their pelvic floor, and release them outwards, and then left and right as well, let's go. Just giving a little bit of space there to the sacral area of your back, especially around the piriformis, um, a nice kind of deep lower back muscle that often gets tightened up. So let's raise both legs up now, just as you do that, engage your abdominals here. We're going to just join the knees together in the center and do a very small spinal twist. So let your hands relax open on the floor, palms towards the sky. And then taking those knees just to the left hand side of your body, roll that sacral area off the mat and start to feel a little bit of a spiral here in the body. Try to keep that right shoulder connected to the mat there so that we feel the stretch also in our chest. And then kind of windscreen wiper your feet back over to the right hand side. A little bit more weight now into your left hand to stabilize that movement and really keep the legs joined together here in the center. So when rocking back and forth here, feeling again the stretch in and around your oblique muscles, the spiral rotators, your trunk rotators also. And you can breathe deeply as you do these movements and really just enjoy the release of those muscles there, kind of stretching them out giving them a little bit more length here, elasticity, before we start to strengthen them. So a couple more, keep going here. Slightly less repetitions on these ones here. And two more. See the way the shoulders are still connected there to the mat, so focus on that. And then legs back into the center. Again, great. So push your heels right up towards the sky, turning your big toes towards you. And we're going to let those hands reach up our shins. And then just a couple of times to get some fire into our belly, we're going to try and reach towards those big toes. So chin to chest, tuck in, draw the belly button closer to the mat and reach up and lower down. Hands across and over by the head. Nice deep breath in, exhale, curl chin to chest, reach up, 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 and back down. Exhale, chin to chest, roll up, and back down. Let's go three more of these. And exhale, come up, taking your eye gaze towards your knees there. 
and release knees towards your chest here and we're going to roll like a ball and take ourselves up towards the seated position so roll okay again up there in one go which was nice so just taking ourselves through a couple of our back bending um, exercises we are going to do that in a little bit of vinyasa flow just to get a little bit more heat traveling throughout the body so Let's take ourselves up to standing position, feet together, about one foot distance from the top of your mat, and we're going to take a little back bend here. So place fingers on your lower back, pointing downwards, and palms kind of pressing in around either side of your sacrum. We're just going to lock up here. So just lift the kneecaps, push the big toes down, and squeeze your elbows back. And then as you exhale, let the hands slide down along the back of your legs here. Pranayama flow towards the mat. Exhale, breathe out. Stay here. Trying to move your head closer to your shins. And we're going to take the left leg back today, working a little bit on the left side. So step along to the back of the mat, lower the knee down and release the toe there. And we're just going to lift the hands, both hands up above the head here. And just gently ease back, press your knee down on that back leg, push the front leg down. Nice, strong, strong movement here. And really, really kind of find that stretch all the way from your knee up along the hip flexors towards your fingertips. Very good. So one more breath here, and then we will exhale, put both hands on the ground, and we're gonna step back into a plank. So from plank then, just lift the hips to downward dog, feet together here on this movement, and really press your heels towards the mat. Look up towards the belly button there, allow some freedom into your ankles. And then next movement, knees, chest, chin, down towards the mat, knees, chest, and chin, tuck your elbows in, and Bhujabhasana, scoop to the cobra pose, point the toes back, look up, and a gentle back bend here. Get ready for a down dog, tuck your toes, and push all the way through, use your power to lift yourself up. We're gonna take that right foot, stepping forward, look forward, lower your left knee down again, Little reach up, inhale, back down to your exhale, hands forward and step through until we're in a full forward fold again. Kiss your shins or your knees and inhale, hands come up to the lower back and we're just going to press the elbows together gently. So two or three breaths here, just allow yourself to get ready for part two of the right side of the body. And next, exhale, allow your hands to travel down along your back body, posterior your chain, and then reach towards the ankles, pulling downwards. Inhale, fingers on the mat, take a long step back on your right leg, knee down, release the toes, both hands up, inhale, back bending. So use prayer position, or if you prefer, open out the fingertips and find that width in your chest, your shoulders, and drive that right knee down into the mat, keeping kind of strength and stability of your front leg, not allowing it to open out, keeping it pulling towards the center line, so big toe engaged. Lower the pelvis slightly. And then as you exhale, travel forwards again with the hands, step back to plank. And feet together here, we're gonna push downward dog. Up we go, pressing down into the heels. So really try and lift those hips there. and Find that weight down into your heels as much as comfortable. And now we're gonna go knees, chest, chin, down to the mat. So lower down. And Bhujangasana again, release the toes. Slide to the baby cobra, tuck your elbows in by your side here. Stay here, little roll of the neck. So just off to one side, roll. Release and change direction. Roll and release. Tuck the toes, push nice and strong up into the downward dog again. Up we go, heels down. And then the left leg is gonna step forwards here. Lower your right knee down again. Quick lift on the inhale, both hands up. 
and exhale, fold forward, step that right leg forward out of the front of your mat and go down for a full forward fold, really press into the center of your heels here also and slide the hands up, inhale, just onto the back of your back here, tuck the elbows towards each other and a couple of deep breaths there. And chin back into the chest and neutral again. So feet are going to step out wide onto your mat now. And just turn your toes off to the side. We're going to sit down into a yogi squat here. So a nice wide position. Start pressing from your hips back and the knees are opening out towards your toes here. So staying here for a couple of moments. Take a nice deep breath. If you can, join the palms together. You can also go a little bit lower and join your elbows and knees together if that's good for you or if you're up here that's totally fine also you just work on the strength and stability of your feet couple more deep breaths here great and we're going to drop the hands towards the mat here step or jump back into your plank position and lower down, chaturanga, so elbows by your side, sides. Inhale to the upward dog, so a big high back bend head this time. Rolling your um, hips together. We also have several variations in this movement here, so let's try one of them. We're gonna tuck the toes underneath and just rise those knees off the floor and really look up. Couple of deep breaths here. Get ready, we're gonna lift nice and strong now. Up into that downward dog again. So push the power from your hands, pull the belly button in, hips up, and start pressing back into your heels again. Three more breaths here, then one at a time. We're gonna step our legs in here into this wide yogi squat again. Let's go. So step, toe goes off the edge, support yourself with your hands, step, and then as soon as you feel balanced, you're going to just start to lift the chest chin, join the palms together, and take a couple of deep breaths here, really find the space opening up here, couple more, couple more, come on, breathe, resist it a little bit, couple more breaths. Good, second round, let's go hands down to the ground, step back or jump into plank, and lower down, chaturanga, inhale to the upward dog, keeping those toes tucked, if that's what works for you, lock up, shoulders wide, push with your power into the hands, lift to the downward facing dog, and we're going to breathe for a five, Looking up there towards your belly button. And slowly knees to tabletop position, knees down to the mat. And we're going to walk the knees out wide and release the toes and just sit for a wide child pose stretch here. So relax out. And then gradually take your hands forwards, really reaching out in front of you there on your mat. And then just starting to feel the space being created here in the lumbar area of our back. Breathe nice and deep. And gradually just relax and let go. And when you're ready in your own time, walk your hands back towards you and we're going to do a little bit of seated stretching movements. So slip that left foot around, left side again. And we're going to just let this right leg move forward now, heel pushing um, towards the edge of your mat. So keeping this foot on the left tucked in as much as we can. We're going to just gently put a little bit of pressure here 
on that left side and holding on to that foot there. Breathe two or three more breaths and then we're going to have a little bit of reach up into the air and try and stabilize our position here. Both hands up. And then as you exhale, move towards that right leg there. If you wish, grab a hold of your foot. If it's a bit too far away, just hold on to the leg there somewhere. And continue to apply that pressure downwards on your left side. So feeling this big stretch here in around our lower back area, in the hip also. There is several um, more complicated versions of this one. If you are a bit more flexible or open in your hips here, you can stack this foot up onto the top of your thigh. So you could gently do that there, just shimmying yourself around. But if you're happy here, you're aiming for 10 breaths, probably almost there by now. So just try to push a little bit more with your heel, pull your right sit bone back away from that heel and find the stretch also in the back of your opposite leg, that right leg there. Inhale, both hands up. And exhale, just palms to the center of the chest, switch the feet over, tuck it in there. Inhale, both hands up. Exhale, turn a little bit before reaching out there towards that left side. So as you're here as well, try and put that pressure down on your right hip. If you want, you can play around a little bit in this movement. You don't have to stay in that static position. So really, if you feel you need to make any adjustments to allow your energy to flow, then do that. So really enjoy kind of this, this deeper stretch. Every time you exhale, try to let go and move a little bit closer towards um, your knee with your forehead. In fact, we should be aiming there for this position. And up we come. Inhale, both hands up. So back, starting with the left leg again. Exhale, palms to the center of the chest. We're just going to tuck it in. So if you'd like to try that harder version now, just tucking this foot up on top. We're going to take a slight little rotation on this movement also. So allow your right hand reaching down towards that right foot or shin or wherever it's comfortable for you. And we're going to open up on the left hand here and just let it come over by your ear and just send it in the direction of that toe on that right side. Open up your rib cage, kind of opening to that left side there and gently let this knee on the left, reach downwards towards the ground. Couple more deep breaths there. Inhale, release up and hands back to the center of the chest. And release this foot downwards. Stretch it out, pulling your right toes towards you, tucking it up onto our left tie there, that fleshy part, the closer it is towards your pelvic bone there, um, the more uncomfortable it's going to be. Um, but yeah, it should give you a good challenge. So let's reach the left hand down by the left foot there. Relax the shoulder down as much as you can. And then up we go, right hand reaching over, just reaching towards the big toes there. Let that right knee settle down like something's heavy on the knee, bringing it downwards. And really finding that opening on your rib cage on that right side, opening, kind of looking upwards. Three more breaths here, deep down if you wish. And slowly come up on your next inhale, come to the center of the chest again. And exhale, releasing the back just a little bit. So let's reach the feet out. We're going to lie down here in this lying position. And just take a little stretch here, left and right, let your body settle. So feet are moving to the left side of your mat, heels out there. And let's reach the right hand up by the ear. And we're going to just send it reaching over now towards the left corner of the mat. So mimicking a uh, half moon banana shape on your mat here and feeling the stretch from your right heel there up along your right hip, right side waist, right armpit, 
and right fingertips. Feel the stretch all the way along. Then slowly, when you're ready, just release the hand, release the feet to move to the right hand side, reach that left hand up by your ear. And exhale as you laterally bend off to that right side of your mat. And really pressing it out through that left heel there. Feel the stretch, travel up that fascia line all the way to the left fingertips. Maybe encouraging a little bit further with your right hand, guiding your left arm to reach that little bit further across. And back into the center of our mat here again. So we're going to do a couple of exercises from Pilates down right here. Um, our first one is called the slow double leg stretch. So that movement from the beginning, this um, wide movement of our hip. Um, we're going to do that again. So feet are up in the air, joined together. Big toes, little toes, all the toes touching. And the knees are open quite wide. Make a nice long torso on the mat. So shimmy yourself around a little bit to feel this length in your spine from your tailbone to the crown of your head. And we are going to just keep this diamond shape here Pressing your feet together, feel a little bit of engagement happen now in the inner thighs, also in our kind of pelvic region. And then as you do your next exhale, tuck the chin towards the chest and peel the head and shoulders up off the mat. We're going to release our hands now just to let them hold to the side of the knees and shins. And then on my inhale, just use those hands to guide your knees together and then stretch the toes away and reach the hands as far away over your head as you can. Exhale, curl back in the feet together. Taking a nice deep breath before beginning the next one. So again, inhale, close the knees together, reach out, hands move up over the head and then exhale, open the knees out, turning the big toes together again. So try not to lose connection with your feet. They are staying um, in connection with each other all the time. So chin to chest, let's go on our inhales and exhales in a kind of quicker movement. So inhale, reach the toes, reach the hands. Exhale, turn the feet, open the knees. Inhale, reach. Exhale, turn the feet. Inhale, reach. Guide the knees towards your armpits almost. Exhale, inhale, reaching. Exhale, couple more. Keep the diamond shape of your feet. So don't let those heels drop too low. Keep reaching and pulling. And couple more, torso nice and long. Three. Two. And one. And release and just relax. Take a couple of deep circles there on your lower back area. Cross over your ankles, keeping the knees nice and high again. And just a little reverse curl here. So it's a very tiny movement. Just want you to take your lower back about an inch off the floor here. So really pull the belly button in and engage the abdominals. And we feel this little lift here off the floor. Try not to create any tension in your neck or your shoulders there. And then slowly release that. So the hands are open here, stabilizing your body. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, curl up. Inhale. And back up. So really avoid that tension being created in your jaws or your side of your neck. It is a very tiny movement, trying to get a little bit deeper here in the connection of our lower back. We're almost there. We're going to use this one as our last exercise. We just need to swap the feet over and do the last couple there. 
So just to balance out that back bending that we were doing. Okay, swap over the feet. So just change there, keeping those knees wide still. Um, so that surface area on your lower back there is more in contact with the mat. As we do this, really kind of grab on with the muscles there and you're trying to pull them up, up towards your diaphragm there. And just really, even if you like feel there, you can really feel the contraction there on another level, so kind of deeper down there in your abdominals. And really spread out the shoulder blades, keep them nice and open there. Two more, breathe out, pull the knees in, exhale, release. And knees together, let the feet relax down. And just a couple of circles there again. It's just a bigger spinal twist now for our stretch. We take those feet um, back to the mat there. And we're just gonna take the knees off to the left hand side there. And then just guide this right knee up, 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 up. And just stay there and kind of relax for a moment. Looking out to your right hand side, spread and stretch that right arm across. And let's walk those feet nice and gentle back into the mat. Feeling the edges of your feet on the edge of your mat and cross over to the opposite side and then just Release that left leg to move higher hip direction and relax down. Really nice stretch here across the chest, shoulder area too. Just taking a couple more deep breaths there to nourish that fascia lung. And just sway back into the center again and just let's take a couple of circles there in the lower back and we're going to just gradually take ourselves back to seated so if you want to rock chin to chest and rock and just seating in a comfortable position again so thank you very much for joining me in the class um, We'll just finish with our hands in the centre of our chest, in front of our beautiful hearts again. And I just want you to close your eyes and take a breath for each month of the year so far. Just again, bring your awareness back to the space between our palms, hopefully cultivating a bit of space in our bodies today to help purify it and allow that energy to flow. I'm just wishing you all a lovely, peaceful day, evening, whatever time of the day it is for you. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you and Namaste. Thank you everybody. I'll see you next time.